up guys, welcome to another video of Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning about different types of numbers. Hi Niall, how are you? I'm good. So I know we've looked at odd and even numbers before. Can you tell us, what is an even number? An even number is a number that two can go into without a remainder. Do you have an example? Twelve. And why is twelve an even number? Because two goes into it six times without a remainder. Do you have another example? 248. Oh God. <laughs> Why is 248 an even number? Because 2 goes into it 124 times without a remainder. Okay, thank you. Now, what about an odd number? An odd number is a number that doesn't, that 2 goes into with a remainder. So when you divide the number by 2, We'll always have a remainder of what? One. Okay. So, can you give us an example of an odd number? Seven. Okay. And why is seven an odd number? Because two goes into it three times with a remainder of one. Good. Okay, Maya, can you give me an example of another odd number? 201, because two goes into it 100 times with a remainder of one. Okay, good. All right. So that's odd and even. We also looked at factors and multiples. Do you remember what a factor is? A factor is a number that goes into another number. Without a? Remainder. Yes, don't forget that. It has to have no remainder for it to be a factor. So why don't you give me a factor of 10? Two. Why is 2 a factor of 10? Because 2 goes into 10 5 times good. without a remainder. Very good. Okay, Niall, can you give me a factor of 15 and tell me why? 5, because 5 goes into 15 3 times. Brilliant. Now, what about multiple? A multiple is a number that the factor goes into. Okay, good. So multiple is a number that another number can go into without a remainder. Where can we see multiples? In times tables. In times tables, exactly. So can you tell me the first five multiples of 10? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Good, so 10 goes into 10 how many times? One. 10 goes into 20 how many times? Two. And so on. Yeah. So can you give me a multiple of 7? Seven? 7. Can you give me another multiple of 7? 23. Sorry? <laughs> 21. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely not 23. 23 is a prime number. Oh. Good job, Naya. 23 is a prime number. And that brings us to the next type of number, which is prime numbers. Can you tell everyone, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that the only factors that go into it are one and itself. So it only has two factors. That's the key. A prime number only has two factors. And you said the factors are? One and itself. Brilliant, Niall. Now... Let me see if you know your prime numbers. So let's start with the number 10. No, because it has more than two factors. Number 10 has more than two factors. What about 7? Yes, because only 1 and 7 go into it. There you go. So how many factors does 7 have? 2. 1 and itself. Brilliant. What about 6? Six, no, because one, two, three, and six go into it, so it has four factors. Good. What about two? Yes, because only one and two go into it. And finally, can you tell everybody if one is prime or not and tell us why? No, because one only has one factor, one and one. <laughs> <laughs> so one only has one factor, which is itself. Yes. So why specifically is it not prime? Because it has one factor, not In, two. Instead of two. Brilliant. Well done, Naya. Do you know what a square number is, Naya? Yes. What is a square number? A number times by itself. 
That is not the definition of a square number. A square number is a number times by itself and a result of that. The, yes, exactly. It's the answer you get when you times a number by itself. So let's go up from 1 to 5 and times these numbers by itself to point out the square numbers. So if you times 1 by itself, what do you get? 1. 1 times 1 is 1, so 1 is a square number. What's the next square number, Naya? 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. Great. And then? 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. Very good. After 9? Um, 16, because 4 times 4 is 16. Yes, and then? 25, because 5 times 5 is 25. Excellent. We're going to have a quiz at the end. I wonder if you're going to remember all of these. Yes, I will. I okay, now we're going to introduce a really tough one, and it's going to be the last number we look at today. It's called a cube number. And do you know what a cube number is, Naya? A number is a number times by itself, and then you times that number by itself again. Not that you don't time. Let me give you an example. 3 times 3 is 9, and then 9 times 3 is 27, and that is the cube number 27. So that was a good example. Let me help you with the definition by asking you, what did you do with the 3? You times it by itself three times. Exactly. And that is how you get a cube number. It's the answer you get when you times a number by itself three times. So can you give me another cube number? You just said 27. Can you give me one that's smaller than 27? One. Oh, why is one a cube number? Because <laughs> one times one is one, and then one times one again is one. So yeah. one times one times one is one. Is still one. Okay, what about the next cube number after one? Um, so eight, because two times two is four, and then four times two is eight. Brilliant, so two times two is four. And if you times that by 2 again, you would get 8. Great. Let's look at the first list of our numbers. Can you call them out for us? 5, 9, 13, 15, 23. Okay, so do you see any factors of 10 on that list? No. Are you sure? No factors of 10? Oh, 5. <laughs> Do you see any multiples of 10? No. <laughs> okay. All of these numbers have something in common. They're all one type of number. Can you tell us which one it is? They're all odd numbers. Okay, and what are odd numbers again? Numbers where two go into it with a remainder of one. Okay, brilliant. Okay, Niall, call out our second list of numbers. 1, 3, 8, 9, 20, 24. Good. Tricky one, this. Do we have any prime numbers on the list? Um, we have one, two... Two prime numbers. What one two prime numbers? and three. One and three prime numbers. Oh, yes, we only have one, three. Because <laughs> one only has one multiple. So I mean, factor. <laughs> Any cube numbers? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Oh yes, eight. Why is eight a cube number? Because two times two is four times two is eight. Okay. There's one more cube number there, Niall. What is it? One. <laughs> and why is one cube number? Because 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. Any squared numbers there? Um, 1. Good. I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> one, 
<laughs> Why is one a square number? Um, because one times one is one. And the other square number is? Um, nine, because three times three is nine. Okay. Okay, can you call out the last list of our numbers? Two, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-seven and thirty. Okay. Any multiples of ten? Thirty. Any factors of twelve? Six. Teen is not a factor of twelve. Okay, good job. Two is a factor of twelve. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Any cube numbers? Is twenty-seven a cube number? Is it? Three times three is nine times three is twenty-seven. Yes, it is a cube number. Good job. Any square numbers? Two. Two is most definitely not a square <laughs> number. <laughs> no squared number, sir. There is a square number there. Oh, is it sixteen? Yes, it is. Why is sixteen a square number? Because 4 times 4 is 16. Good job, Niall. Finally, any prime numbers there? 17. Definitely and 2. Prime. Definitely prime. Well done, Niall. Can you give me a cube number that is more, that is greater than 27? Um... <laughs> Oh, 125. Very good, Niall. How did you get that? 25, 5 times 5 is 25, and then 25 times 5 is 125. Brilliant. I like that one. Can you give me a square number that is greater than 144? Squared number that is greater than 144. Ooh, that one's hard. <laughs> Why is 144 a square number? Because 12 times 12 is 144. And I chose that because that's in the times tables that you need to know. So why don't you think of a number that's bigger than 12, but easy to multiply by itself? Thirteen. It's not easy. It's not easy. Fourteen. No. What makes a number easy to times by itself? I don't know. Maybe if it ends in zero? Twenty? Yeah. Times twenty? Yeah. And that's... Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I thought I had to get 13 times 13. I'm so silly. 20 times 20 is 400. That's it. That's the best <laughs> yeah. you know, squared number greater than 144. So remember, you can always think of things that you can multiply easily. So why is multiplying 20 times 20 very easy? Because you can just do 2 times 2 and then add on the two zeros. Brilliant. So that comes to the end of today's lesson. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and press that like button. Bye.